Hey everyone, how's it going? This is Adrian with another release for Avo. We're releasing 2.27 today and we have a couple of new cool features and a few bug fixes and let's get into it. So um, we're gonna start from the bottom. So test buddy, this is nothing for you to worry about. This is something for us to help with testing. Uh, we have by default, okay. So Lorin, thank you so much for this. Uh, they added this PR to convert, to force the encoding to UTF-8. Um, this does help with some columns that are not UTF-8. Um, so go check it out. Laurent has uh, another cool repo where they he set up all of the, most of the Rails admin panels and he does uh, a tiny comparison. He goes through all of them and, and shows them to you. So go check that out as well. Yep, so visible items gets wrongly memoized. So what was happening was some things like panels or tabs or sidebars had the name of the view memoized wrongly. So if you go to edit, it will keep it in memory as edit. But if you go to new, this would not change to new. So if you have some custom rules like only on new, only on edit, this would just break up. So this has been fixed. Um, so go check it out. Let's move to the features because these are cool. So dynamic tags field, this is something that you asked for for a while now. Uh, so what was happening was you, most of you used it on like uh, on the index view. So you wanted to select a couple of um, records and then you wanted to run an action that would actually have a belongs to field. So a searchable belongs to. So you want to have this dynamic uh, Ajax driven um, uh, interface, right? Where you can query for different types of users and not load, uh, or different types of records and not load all of, all of them into memory. So what we did was we created, we augmented actually the tags field. So uh, in this toggle inactive, um, in this toggle inactive uh, action, you, we have this tags field. And it has two options, one or two new options. So one is mode and mode select. So mode select tells it that you only want to select one item in this field. So because in tags, you can usually select multiple, but now you want to select only one. And the other option is fetch values from, which can be a string or a block returning a string. And in this block, you have access to the resource and maybe the model if you, if, if you have that. And you can still use the, res the suggestions and other options for tags. But if you look like, uh, at the fetch values from option, you'll see admin resources, users, get users. So don't, um, don't point your finger that I use this notation. Um, this is just something to uh, show you how, how it works. So now if I go into the routes file, this would be like your app uh, routes file. So I added this new route within uh, the Avo engines uh, block. So users get users, goes to users get users. So users controller, I used the controller that Avo generates for me for that resource, so get users. And in the, within this controller, I just get all the users from the database and map them to uh, a hash with value and label. So value is something that will be sent to the action and label would be something that you want to display in the dropdown. So how this works is it will when whenever I start start writing uh, in it, you'll see it's sent it to the users to the server. So now on the server, I, I can say all or I can say where like and say something about params of Q. So params of Q, this is the query. This is the actually whatever I type here, right? So you can narrow down that search, but I'm just gonna leave all for now. So uh, you can create like richer dropdown experience with this uh, tags field. Cool, I hope you like it. Um, and I hope it will help you build like better experiences. Next is find record method. So this is gnarly as well. So before, Maybe you want to do something like, where is it? On the post, I think. So maybe you want to have this slug, sluggable type of feature, right? So we have this uh, added here. I'm just gonna collapse this. So before save, we update the slug and the slug is actually the parameterized name of that post. Uh, and then uh, I just update the two param method. And if it has a slug, show the slug. If not, show the ID. And how this looks like 
in posts if i go here i'm just going to select a post an older post and it will show the id or, or i can go and uh, select a newer um, post and i can say hey hey ha ha ho ho and this will change the slug as well so this is the like uh, homemade slugging feature but it's probably better to, for you to use the friendly um, gem so how this works with avo now you have access to this find record method right which will give you the model class which is actually the query we'll rename this in avo3 to make it uh, the same across the board so this is just for avo2 so model class you'll have the id the actual id from the param right and you have access to all of the params so you can do a lot more things here so you can do like if params is via resource class equals something you can you can go wild so now what we do is if the id is an integer then do a regular find if it's not an integer it might might be a string it might be a slug go find by slug right so we have customized the way avo searches for one record um, and now this brings uh, a new cool feature it will also let's see course i think it will also work out of the box with pre has prefix id so this is a course model and course resource this has not uh, this doesn't have the find record method changed and it just works out of the box so i'm going to go into a course and select a course you'll see it has that prefix id which has the id obfuscated behind this um, this um, string so this is cool as well um this is another side effect i i hope i hope you you like this manually load resources this is a gnarly one so what was happening was you know how you declare resources in these resource files right post resource course resource well the way um rails um the way we we make this work we have this we call it a dynamic router and we actually go and fetch all of the resources from the um, descendants of avo base resource but in order to get the descendants we need to eager load the app before we eager loaded the whole app now we um, are eager loading only the directory or the resources directory but what this does is let's say let's say it will get eager load the full app it will load this class into memory and when it reaches like this line it will try actually it won't try it will actually load this class as well so course policy and it has this um domino effect right where it tries to load everything because everything is uh, like these classes as well everything is uh, evaluated on that eager load we are working on changing that in the future so we don't hit these nags but right now uh, in order to make this work so what would happen was um, that when it tried to eager load all of these classes sometimes in some apps you might have a setup where i don't know maybe it tries to look for something in the database and the migrations aren't run yet and uh, there were all kinds of snacks there and people have complained um, there are like a very there's a very small subset of people but in order to mitigate this we added the, um, a new configuration uh, item so config resources so now instead of eager loading everything you just tell it which resources you're going to use like user resource and fish resource now if i go back to my app and refresh you'll see i only have these resources available now what what happens is whenever i deploy or um i mean like in a special scenario where before it will trigger that crash this will not trigger it because it will not eager load the app and um it will just load these particular classes so this is a cool thing to to have right so i hope this helps you let me just refresh perfect cool um callable tab names this was something uh, let's see user user resource yep so this was actually a bug whenever you had something like tabs and then you have like a has many field that doesn't have a panel or a tab the actual tab that would be created for you would not if the field had something like a translation uh, translation string string 
and you use something AVO, uh, I don't know, field translations, and say birthday. Um, so the, the field would, would get the translation from here, but the tab would not get the translation. So there, that would be that. And now you can use a tab like this and actually have the name as a block that would return that. So I18 and translate, and you just say this, right? Cool. You, you got to be careful not to do this because it's the same thing as before when rails eagles up the boots up the app the translation strings are not available so this will not work so you better use it as a block and the block would get evaluated after boot time and everything would just work so yeah this is a cool thing to have allow authorization features on ordering clothes so most of you know that you can reorder items right you can move them higher or to the top or to the bottom well we didn't have a way to hide these so uh now we do we'll go to link policy of course link policy and now we have this new reorder method where which you can turn on and off based on the user and now this is off and now course link resource you can have it visible on both views. I'm not sure why, because that wouldn't really work very well, but you can have that. And on the course policy, so on the, on the parent, you have reorder and the association here, right? So you have reorder links. So now if I go to, I switch this to true and go to a course, you'll see this course, all of the links have this uh, reorder button. If I hit false, these are gone. So now I have that granular control over what you're going to show yep so these are like this is a this is a lot this is quite a lot this is a big release um we know i know we said we're not gonna ship any new features but hey um we did it work is going well with avo 3 i'm not going to go deep dive into that uh probably going to do another video next week and just to give you like a quick heads up we stopped uh, feature development and we just putting all the pieces together Make sure they all fit on fit nicely and the upgrade process is nice for you guys so uh that's something um that i'll probably talk about next week otherwise um short ruby is on fire this is an amazing uh new edition so edition 31 uh, i'm just taking like an hour to just every time it comes up to um just browse it and, and check out check everything out in detail so go check it out um yaro is on fire as well he's been killing it uh had recently viewed products in live counter these are cool cool videos and he has his new uh series coming up reverse engineering so he goes to popular websites and apps and tries to reverse engineer everything into like hotwire and, and rail so yep go and um check that out as well and we have like this is the the big thing that i wanted to to show you we are putting together a conference so it's going to be a small 100 ish uh, people uh, conference it's um two day single track it's two days because we just want to get to know each other better it's like we had the first day we have the social night out and then we have the second day it just works out better it's single track so everybody sees the the, uh, the same thing it's in bucharest romania so eastern europe um, it's on september 22nd and 28th so we'll be waiting for you guys there um it's it, it has a focus on community and we're just trying to like keep it cozy and welcoming um so the weather is nice bucharest is beautiful uh we're close to the mountains if you want to do a tra uh, a um, hike or very close to the seaside as well we have two amazing uh speakers confirmed so xavier noria you know him from he's a rails core member and he's the author of zeitberg an amazing um, library that powers most of ruby uh like things nowadays um and then we have elena tanasoyu she is a senior engineer at github so we're incredibly proud to have these two speakers um uh, confirm their um their talks um we have a few more on the pipeline and we are waiting for you so come come on friendlyrb.com uh, hit be a speaker and fill out our call for papers form uh, we have all the information here uh, for you. 
Um, what else? We have a few uh, sponsorship um, spots available. So uh, we don't want to have like this big logo cloud of sponsors. We want to give like a proper value for everybody. So if your company wants to um, wants to help, get in touch with us at sponsorship at uh, friendlyrb.com or on this web page. So the tickets are, on, are up for sale as well. Uh, early bird limited to 30 tickets. We sold 17 already. So uh, get yours now. Uh, we have a regular ticket at 200 and a supporter ticket at, uh, we have just 10 tickets as a supporter and you have a few uh, special things like a special badge, you pick your own seat and a few more things uh, we want to, um, we want to let you know later. So yeah, go check out friendlyrb.com. So it's your friendly European conference um, in Bucharest, Romania in the fall. Just perfect for getting together. Cool. So that's about it for today. It's been a long video. Um, yeah what else yeah that's about it if you like avo share it uh, with everybody uh, if you don't tell us uh, we'd like to make it better and keep being an awesome community see you next week bye